Hey, what's up, you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you a video game review. This time, we're going to be talking about Resident Evil 5. And if we look at it here, here's the copy of it I have. Um, you know, the thing about it is, I actually sold it <laughs> a few years ago, but I managed to find it at a you know local CD DVD you know game store um, at a really good price, and I was happy to buy it back. Um, I know I pretty much haven't done like any videos on Resident Evil whatsoever since I did those, uh, you know, few little playthrough videos I did of uh, Resident Evil 6, but I sort of wanted to start doing videos on it again because I love the Resident Evil franchise, uh, not the movies, <laughs> uh, the video games, I love the video games. Um, you know, I also love the, you know, the CGI films, you know, like Degeneration, Damnation, which I'll be doing videos on later. Um, you know, the movies are just, you know, mindless action, you know, I've, I, wa I watched a handful of them, you know, years ago with, uh, friends when I was in middle school, um, but, you know, now seeing that and playing through the games, it, they're just a complete injustice to the material, you know, um, you know, I'm not one to always bitch about, you know, changes and stuff like that from source material, but really, they just completely ruin it in the movies, you know, they make it so much less than what it is in the games, so much less substance, and, they bring in a character like Chris Redfield, who's, you know, the main character of this game and one of the main heroes of the entire series. They bring him into the movies, you know, Wentworth Mar Miller plays him, which, you know, I didn't really have a problem with. Um, but, uh, you know, the way they write him, like, yeah, he doesn't even have, like, this uh, rivalry or grudge against Albert Wesker, and, you know, ah. Anyway, this isn't a, this isn't a video about uh, ranting about the movies, but it was bound to come up, but, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. Uh, you know, I loved Resident Evil 4. Um, you know, I did play a couple of the older ones, you know, years and years ago. You know, like the first uh, few and stuff. But uh, I'm not as well versed with the earlier ones, I'll admit. I haven't played them as much, but, you know, I did read up on plenty of the story, you know, and the older ones and the, you know, the first couple and such. Um, and I really wanted to do videos on 5 and uh, 6 because I just got done playing Resident Evil 5 again with my girlfriend, which was a, you know, it was a fun experience, you know, because she, uh, she doesn't have as nearly as much, uh, game experience as I do, um, but she's interested, and at the same time she's sort of easily scared, <laughs> uh, you know, so she, you know, got pretty freaked out throughout and all the chaotic nature of some of these, uh, you know, action scenes in the game. It, it was fun to, you know, work with her on it. And, you know, I can get frustrated, so that came up, too. <laughs> um, but it was fun to play through it again with her. And just fun to play through it again in general. Um, and, like I said, I really wanted to do videos on RE5 and RE6 because... Um, I just think these two games just catch way too much shit. Uh, they're personally two of my favorites of the entire series. Um, my three favorites are actually 4, 5, and 6. Uh, with my favorite actually being 6, which I know is going to be a very unpopular opinion. Um, but I absolutely love Resident Evil 6, and I really like 5, and I really like 4. And, you know, I did, I do remember liking some of the earlier ones back when I did play them a little. Um, but Resident Evil 5, I'll explain to, uh, little bit of briefly about the story. Um, you know, I'll do a video on Resident Evil 6 later once my girlfriend and I play through that again together, uh, which will probably be a few weeks from now. But anyway, um, you know, basically Chris Redfield, who's a character that, you know, we met and, you know, within the first couple of the original games, um, you know, he ends up being sent to Africa, uh, you know, to Kijuju, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> um, that's where he meets his uh, partner, Sheva Almar, and he's basically there to investigate the, you know, this uh, seller of uh, BOW, you know, bioorganic weapon, on the black market. And it turns out to be this whole, uh, you know, plot set by Albert Wesker really expands and goes into their history together. Um, and I like to tie back to that, you know, it focuses a lot on what happened to uh, Jill Valentine, you know, and the connection Chris shared with her. Um, which I thought made for a pretty impactful story, and I thought made for a pretty good uh, few scenes, especially when, uh, you know, she really hits the fan with that. I mean, so the story in this one is pretty good, I thought. Um, not as good as 6, but I did think it uh, managed to, you know, keep your attention, and, you know, you know, it did stay away from just being a shoot-em-up because of it, so I was happy with that. And, uh, 
you know, how does the game itself, how does it play? Uh, you know, the controls are nice. You know, they're not too difficult to learn. There isn't a whole lot you have to remember. It. You know, you get used to it pretty quickly. Um, the graphics actually hold up really well. Um, you know, graphics aren't the most important thing to me when it comes to a video game, but when they're really nice, it's definitely a, a welcome bonus. And uh, RE5 still really holds up, even on the Xbox 360, I think. I still think it looks pretty good. Um, you have some really good visuals in, like, the desert, uh, you know, more you know, African area, you know, which I think really looks really good. Um, character models are really nice, you know, with the infected and, you know, our characters, Chris Shiva and Wesker especially, as well as Jill. Um, you know, I really like how they did the flashbacks with what happened between, uh, Jill, Wesker, and Chris. That was really well done. Um, you know, of course, it's Resident Evil, so there are frustrating parts, so there are times when you die a good, good amount, you know, a handful of times over and over. Um, and like I said, it had been a few years since I played uh, RE5, since I had sold it, and you know, I just bought it back. I'm really glad I bought it back, by the way. I'm really glad to have it back in my collection. Um, but like the final fight with the Wesker, you know, I didn't remember exactly all these little tactics to do, so it can be a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit frustrating over and over until you figure it out. Um, and you know, even when you do figure out what to do, it's a lot of, uh, wash, rinse, repeat, you know, there's a lot of things you have to do continuously several times. Um, you know, so I feel like some of the boss fights can sort of drag on a little bit too long in these games. Um, RE4 wasn't so bad with it. Um, RE5, this one, it did get stretched out a little bit, and there's this a, c a couple boss fights in RE6 that kind of end up ha being the same thing. Um, but again, the visuals aren't really good, the graphics and such. And it's just really fun to play. You know, a lot of people criticize RE5 and RE6 for just being action games and sort of losing that uh, survival horror aspect that the franchise is known for and what it sort of started and you know somewhat pop, you know somewhat started and somewhat popularized, popularized I should say. <laughs> um, you know, but there is still a little bit of it in five. You know, ammo isn't overly plentiful. You know, it's still a little bit scarce, and it's definitely intimidating when. Uh, me and my girlfriend have uh, very low ammunition, ammunition even between the two of us, and the last boss fight with Wesker, that, that can be a little bit troublesome. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I had my knife handy, right? Um, you know, so there's a little bit of it still in it, and, you know, I'll still, I'll admit, you know, yes, there's not nearly as much of that going on with the struggle horror stuff as there were in the early games, um, but I do think in RE5, and especially RE6, which I'll talk about you know, at some point down the road later, I just think the stories are so much better, the characters are written in much more compelling ways, and so I'll take that, you know, if it's a fun action game with a really good story and still some horror aspects in it, I think that's great. Uh, so I still really enjoyed it. Um, you know, I don't do video game reviews very often, so I have some of all the things I should talk about. Um, I actually really love the uh, opening sequence too, you know, because Chris gets to Africa, you meet Sheva, but pretty quickly it goes into, uh, you know, this ambush and you have to survive for a few minutes until uh, help gets there. And I think that's just a really cool introduction to the game because you're basically, like, trapped in this little, like, shan not shanty, but just this little, like, section of a town or a village, I, sh I should say. Um, and I just thought it's just really fun to play through. And then there's also a couple little puzzles in the game, they aren't really too difficult. Um, but again, it's one of those things that did does get a little bit stretched out. Um, but then again, my brain wasn't always working, and neither was my girlfriend's when we were playing, uh, so it probably took us a little bit too long to figure certain things out. Like I said, I had been, it had been a few years, and yeah, I had to concentrate on protecting her, and I'm not just saying it was her, because I died a few times playing it again, too. <laughs> um... You know, so I think Resident Evil 5 is just a really good game. I think there's a lot to like about it. You know, I do invest in Chris's story. Um, Sheva, you know, she's okay. You know, she's just sort of there just to be the partner, just to be the second player's character. Um, but, you know, she's fine. You know, she is, uh, you know, likable enough, I guess. I did really invest in Chris and uh, Jill's story and, uh, you know, how the Chris and Wesker thing was resolved at the end of this one with the, after the whole mutation battle and stuff like that. Um, Chris finally killing Wesker for good, as far as we know, anyway. Um, that whole thing coming to an end. But I really like how it also plays into Resident Evil 6, you know, when, uh, you know, Chris meets, uh, Jake. Um, you know, which really brings up some, some good stuff. But we'll talk about that when I talk about RE6.
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, I'm sure there's plenty more I could talk about with the game. But like I said, the story's pretty good. You know, for what it is, I think it's a little better than you'd expect it to be. Um, not on the level of RE6, but still good. Um, the graphics are still surprisingly held up well. Uh, you know, it's just fun to play, and I really enjoyed playing it again. I'm enjoying talking about it, even though I'm probably talking in circles. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Um, you know, some other things I have planned for videos this coming week, of course, you know, my usual Penny Dreadful and Game of Thrones reviews. That might be a little bit spaced out, though. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm going to review first this week, because usually it's Penny Dreadful, both with, with uh, a certain character being back in Game of Thrones. I'm pretty excited to talk about Game of Thrones this week. Well, I'll be getting those videos out to you guys at some point this week, as usual. Also, we'll be talking about the originals, uh, Season 4 airing in the winter, actually. Um... Also, be releasing a tribute to the originals I just finished working on, and also be doing hopefully doing reviews of some of the CGI Resident Evil films, you know, Damnation and uh, Degeneration. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought of the game, and uh, yeah, also the games in general. You know, what ones are your favorite? What ones do you enjoy the most? What do you think about all the hate on RE5 and RE6? You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and thefrenchfolded.com. Catch you guys next time, and uh, peace.